Come down with me, the revenge. God, I feel like I'm Willy Wonka or someone, I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah. Look, you can see how stressful this is. Turns out I was being impatient. You worked. Quite pleased with that. Okay, that's on the floor. I can't cook. I'm probably out of this contest. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm joined with my entire family yet again. We have Harry, my dad, my mum. And we are here with a family come dine with me, round two. So if you didn't see, back in May last year during the first lockdown, we actually went head to head in our own version of Come Dine With Me, the popular TV show. I'm pretty sure you've heard of it. We thought we'd do it again. How are you feeling about this, guys? I mean, I won it last time, I think, didn't I? Yeah, oh yeah, my dad is the current reigning king. So basically, we're just doing it again. So many of you guys were like, oh my god, you should do a part two. Let's not do a part three yet. Yeah, I'm not feeling this again, but we are here doing it again because, you know. You not know. a level playing field. Why not? I'm child. <laughs> oh, stop it. No, you're not. You're an adult. Can't anyway, cooking. yeah, basically, for the final time, we are here with the Thompson family. Come dine with me. Let's flash back to Sunday when my dad went first. Ready? Come down with me, the revenge. I can't make the same stuff again that I'm making last time, so what I'm gonna do this time is I'm going to cook a rather special dish which we've kind of discovered making at home during lockdown is normally associated with a high street restaurant. I never said what it was, but it was a katsu curry. I'm gonna make it myself here for the first time. This is the main ingredient for the meal. For Molly, I've got a, a vegan version of it, so it's basically not chicken. And we've got chicken here, ready for chicken, so. And of course, who can forget the bread? I've also got the kettle on. Gonna need that in a minute, you'll see why. This stuff, now normally we do tend to cheat in this house, I'm not gonna lie, by getting those microwave packets. I'm not doing that today. I've also got the water bubbling nicely, and that's about to go in. Getting there, getting there. 18 minutes. So some of the other bits, we have got a lovely 25 side. I'm gonna make some cookies. I've just made this, basically, this is like cookie dough, very oily. I'm about to put it on here, and then it's ready to go in when, when I'm serving the main food. So this is a bit where it, it, I, I kind of deviated slightly. So what I've done is I've leveled it out on the baking tray, and the idea for me is that this is going to be like a chocolate bake, which I can slice, and obviously everybody can have a quarter or however much as they want. No idea if it'll work. This might be my undoing. I might end up with one point. Ooh, look at the colour. Look at this. Oh, look. Look, you can't even see how stressful this is. Anyway, so the plates are ready to be dished up. We've got the bread ready to be sliced. We've got that almost ready to go in for cooking once the chicken's out. The rice is nearly done as well. So everything's coming together, fingers crossed. Now, the secret ingredient here, this is my own personal secret recipe of herbs and spices. There is a family secret involved in making this katsu curry sauce mix. So as you can tell, this was an absolute total stress. I think I've done it. Don't look at the kitchen. You'll see in a second what it actually looks like, and hopefully that it's actually fairly well presented, but I have forgotten some key things, like slicing the bread, getting the drinks, and I'll probably be marked down on that, but. Pretty sure you did that exact first in the last one. Dad's just informed us that it is a katsu curry, even though that's what we could smell, but he hadn't told us what it was. I've boiled the rice, not microwaved it. Oh, so you've done it properly. Yeah. Wow. Oh, for that. Yeah. yeah, okay, we're just missing a Harry at the minute. And the katsu sauce, as you'll have seen on the video, is one of my family's secret recipes that's gone back decades. <laughs> Your family have a secret katsu curry recipe. Well, I don't think they do. I don't either, I'll ask grandma. It smells like a lie. Okay, the first course has been finished, as you can oh, see. Pretty much. Clear place, place, pretty much. Yeah. Here comes the dog wanting to lick them clean. No, no. Please let me lick your plate. Dad is now going to go through to the kitchen to get the dessert. I'm excited, we don't know what it is. This. What the heckity heckity heck is that? This That's is, a uh, This is a large cookie. <laughs> One <laughs> massive cookie. No, well, no. Well, no. The instructions said, make it into little, I thought, nah, make a big one. <laughs> and then you can decide how much you want, and maybe have it with a little bit of cream if you prefer. Right. Oh, no. I have never seen this served up as a delicacy in any restaurant or anywhere, but will you slice your bit first, and then we'll see. Okay. Yeah, I that think size. I'll have that size. Well, Shall we try it? Test, test, pretty? Uh... Falls apart in your hand. So warm. Mm, it is still warm. <laughs> This is our evening entertainment. We've got Harry on the keyboard. Playing all the right notes, <laughs> just not in the right order. 
Do it Where again. Did that just come from in my I have no idea. Wait, wait, wait. Do it again. Do it again. Missed it. Last time we did this, we did the scores in the back of my car because it was the summertime. However, obviously now it is too dark in an evening to sit in the back of my car. Also, I've got a new car that you physically cannot get in the back of, really. For those reasons, I'm sitting in my bedroom and I'm going to give you my score. I'm just going to be direct because I know this video is going to be long. This is the score that I'm going to give my dad. The reason that he's dropped a couple of points is because I just think overall the dessert let him down a little bit. Like, I do think he made a lot of effort with the dessert last time we did this. Today, the effort just wasn't really there. Overall, a really enjoyable meal and I would eat it again, definitely. Yeah, it was between a seven and an eight, but I'm gonna give him this. Carl gets a seven from me. The main course was very nice. Couldn't fault that at all. Extra point for doing the rice properly as well. The only reason he has lost points from me this time is because there was no drinks served and didn't really set the table or anything, which I think counts for at least a point. He wasn't a huge fan of the dessert. That's just my choice, but yeah. Yeah, overall very nice, thank you. It's that time where I rate the food. Um, the food was very nice. Dad's a good cook, it's not fair. He's been cooking a lot longer than me. Before you put your votes in the comments, just think about like everyone's age, how long they've been on the earth, how long they've been cooking, things like that. Food was very nice, very good level of spice. Pudding was all right, could have been better, but I understand that it's stressful making a pudding and a main. Drinks, he, he didn't really make any drinks, he just sort of poured half cups of water. Overall, I think because how nice the actual main meal was I'm going to give him an eight ladies and gentlemen Whoa. it is my evening to cook so I am gonna be attempting something that I've wanted to eat for a while but I just have not been bothered to make the effort to try to cook it but I thought Do you know what it's a special occasion I'm gonna make the viral TikTok feta and tomato pasta. You have probably seen this and if you haven't, you probably just don't have TikTok because I think if you are on TikTok, it is impossible to have not seen this pasta trend. It's everywhere. So I thought, you know what? I love cheese, I love pasta, I love feta. It seems like a bit of me. I headed to the shops earlier on and bought the ingredients. I'm gonna do a little flashback. Let's speak to Molly from the future. Molly from the past. Wow, past me, let's go. Okay, so I appear to have developed a phobia of vlogging in public since the lockdown. Anyway, I'm heading to M&S. Oh my god, I'm so awkward. Oh. Okay, I'm going to M&S because it is my nearest supermarket that I can get to on foot. Not my supermarket of choice, just my nearest supermarket. Too many people are looking. <sighs> Here we go, I need to get some ingredients. Okay, I haven't been in this M&S in a while. I've completely changed the inside of it and I don't know where anything is. What's gone on? Oh my god, they've had a complete revamp but I don't know where anything is. So the feta is the main ingredient. I don't know if you can hear me but pasta is also one of the main ingredients so I need to pick a pasta type. Oh, I might get this one. The farfalle. I literally don't know how you say any of it. Guys, are you proud? For once I remembered my bag. I didn't have to buy a bag. We managed it. We got everything. I was really surprised because I did think, oh, I'm not sure if M&S sell like every single thing. I'm quite excited. I think if this goes well, this could be a success. Don't want to jinx myself. Oh, wow. Look at the Minster. Anywho. Okay, so my ingredients are in here. I have tomatoes, obviously. One. Onion. I don't know if this is a shallot. The thing says shallot, but I don't really know what one of them is, so I just got this onion. My pasta. I can bring a Tony in the end, if anybody was wondering. Feta cheese, obviously, main ingredient, which is in the fridge. And then instead of having two punnets of strawberries. Strawberries! <laughs> I meant tomatoes. I actually thought I'll do half strawberries, half spinach, so that we're getting a little bit of green in there. So we're going to get straight on with it. Uh, I have actually already prepared the dessert, but I'm not going to show you that until after we've made the main, just so that everything is in chronological order, you know. This is the recipe that I'm following. I'm not too sure why it says preheat the oven to 400 degrees. I'm actually just going to check that. Surely 400 degrees is like fire. I don't think my oven even goes that high. No, it doesn't. I'm pretty sure that's a typo, but need to peel and cut up this bad boy. I hate onions. Like, I hate it. Also, please excuse my nails when you see them. Ugh, it's gummy. You know what I wish I had to undertake this task? Goggles. <sighs> let's go though, let's do it. Guys, I've actually done it without crying. Like my eyes are not hurting. Is there something wrong with me? Cause I've never done that without my eyes stinging before. Like okay, so I've chopped up the tomatoes and the onion. That's what's in here. I've accidentally got the onion juice in a cut on my finger and I cannot even tell you how much it's hurting me. It might not have got me in the eyes, but it's got me in my finger instead. I just don't like onions. This is where this comes in. I believe you put in the whole block. So I'm just gonna cut this open. And I love feta cheese, but it is a bit of a miss to like get out. Cause obviously it's kind of like wet and soggy, isn't it? Here it is, in all of its cheesy glory. Oh, it's dripping. Okay, that's on the floor. 60 mil. Do I need to measure that? 
in she goes. Now we need to season with herbs and garlic and spinach. These are garlic granules, guys. I am cheating with this. I didn't want to cut up a garlic clove. I hate doing that. Keep those vampires away. A little bit of the old pepper. And then I'm going to cut up this spinach. So this is what she looks like now. And sis, I'm pretty proud of this. Like, I'm going to pop it in the oven now. This is like bougie for me. I'm not going to lie. All right. See you on the other side. Okay, brief interruption because Tom just turned up at my doorstep with a bouquet of flowers for me after work. <laughs> so cute. Anywho, I have put the pasta that is needed in this. What is this? A pan. Oh my god. But I don't need to do that for another 17 minutes because this does have to cook in the oven for quite a while. So I'm just going to leave this and then come back to it. But I just thought I would measure it out now. I hope it's about right, but pasta's really hard to get right. Right, so I wasn't going to do this, but it suddenly dawned on me that there's no side. So I'm going to make a little side salad. Boiling the water for the pasta. Right, so I've actually taken it out early because it just looks a bit burnt, which is really annoying, but I'm guessing when I do this, oh yeah. I think the um, spinach leaves might be a fail. I'm gonna take the spinach leaves out because I just don't know really why they look like that. They did not look like that on the videos that I watched, but I think maybe I needed to pour the oil over the spinach rather than like this. So I'm gonna take those out. They don't need to ever know. Right, so the pasta won't be done for like another, probably like five minutes, but I'm just mushing this around now so that it doesn't set not to toot my own trumpet but i think i've done a pretty good job here like and i'm pretty sure that is not the correct phrase i have mixed all of the sauce together oh it like it does look minging on camera but like trust me when i say that this is gonna taste good i hope i mean i, I haven't tried it it's, it's like so hot oh no man overboard okay it's in it's time to mix it all together maybe i should have put the sauce into the pan and not the pasta into the dish am i a chef now Okay, so the presentation of it might not be my finest hour and also there just was not quite enough pasta Like there just doesn't look to be a lot, but I'm pretty much there I think but I'm gonna show you past Molly creating the dessert and I'm gonna have the whole experience We have workmen here today and there's one standing at the window right next to where I am filming Good. It's dessert preparation time. The time is currently 1.30 and the recipe states that it needs at least two hours in the fridge to set. So the dessert of my choice is this. This is what I'm gonna be attempting to make. A vegan chocolate tart. Apart from I'm not doing it vegan, I'm just doing it without the cream. Personally, I really don't like cream. That's nothing to do with being veggie or vegan. I just don't like it. So I'm missing that out and I'm replacing it with soya cream. Last time I did this, my dessert was what really let me down. So this time I'm thinking, okay, I'm trying to follow a recipe and Exactly. How wrong can I be really? Probably quite wrong. Here we have the main ingredients. Can I just tell you, I bought these in M&S, had to take out a small mortgage to buy these chocolate bars. Absolute rip off. But yeah, one dark chocolate, one milk chocolate, and all the digestive goodness. Melt, melt the butter. Okay, now that it's all melted, I'm gonna add it to the breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs? No, no. Biscuit crumbs. So this is what it looks like. I've squashed it down. And now I'm gonna stand it in the fridge whilst I make the chocolate topping. I'm not sure this pan is gonna be big enough, but I guess we will see. Oh, that's thick heck. Okay, so going into this dessert is a mixture of dark chocolate and milk chocolate. So I'm gonna add it brick by brick. As you can see, uh, this is what I got for my money when I took out a small bank loan to get this chocolate bar. It's a funky shape. They don't have conventional sized pieces. Okay, so here it goes. Oh God, I feel like I'm Willy Wonka or someone. I'm not gonna lie. But what I don't want to happen is for it to be burning because it does smell a little bit like burnt chocolate but right i'm not usually one for liking baking but just look at how good this looks that chocolatey goodness that is liquid chocolate and cream right there okay i'm a bit apprehensive that i may have burned it but like at least i tried you know what i mean i'm gonna add it on top of here now that is the next step i don't really know if this might be where it all goes wrong oh okay go off sis Anyway, I'm gonna pop it in the fridge now and I've decorated the top now so that it sets into the um, like topping rather than like just sits on top of it. And I had all those leftover breadcrumbs, so that's what I did with them. Oh my God, they're not breadcrumbs. Biscuit crumbs. Lol, so me saying, did I burn it? Yes, I definitely burnt it. And I think it's probably gonna taste minging because look at the level that it has stuck to the bottom of the pan. Like I'm just scrubbing it off, but it's just not coming. Guys, it's in the fridge. Oh God, what an effort. Washing up took twice as long as it took to make it. So this is the TikTok famous feta pasta. Have you seen it? No. What? It's gone a bit cold, guys, which I'm really annoyed about. Mmm, mm. fab. I'm happy with that. Okay, we've got a collection of pretty clear plates so far. I'm pretty 
you're happy about it. It's a solid effort, I can't lie. Yeah? Does it make you feel stressed about your effort that you've got to make? No. Okay, boys and girls, it is dessert time. This is my dessert. I'm bloody proud of this compared to the last come down with me when my dessert was a fail. I've got a Neubake chocolate tart. Now, I don't know what it tastes like because I think I did burn the chocolate, but points for presentation at least. So, here it is. Oh, in it. it has a buttery biscuit base. Buttery biscuit base. <laughs> Yes. Oh no. Gonna hand my camera over to my family and let the scores roll in. Time to review Molly's meal. Well, this was interesting. Making it for ages this afternoon, at least the dessert. So I thought, well, this is gonna be really, really a disaster or it's gonna be really nice. Uh, it was a little bit rushed at the end when we came to get it served up, but she delivered a really tasty meal. I was quite surprised. It didn't look much um, in terms of the pasta, but it was so tasty. Enjoyed that immensely. It was a little bit cold. And then the dessert came out. Probably nicer than cheesecake, actually. So again, small enough portion, not too much, nice and sweet. Sweet, nice and chocolatey. I was really impressed. I would definitely eat it again. In fact, I would pay for that in a restaurant. Solid nine. Molly, I'm impressed with that, Molly. Well done. Thank you very much. Helped clearing up goes as well, though. That's the only thing. I was impressed you made your own sauce. I was very impressed with the pudding. So because of that, you get a ta -da! Yay! You can see nothing but a reflection. Another eight. It was really nice. I can't lie. The pasta, spot on. The pudding was actually really nice as well. It loses marks because the quantity, there was barely anything. I was still hungry afterwards. I think I went and got a Mackey's, not gonna lie. It was cold and she dished it up, which I understand is very hard not to do with pasta, but you lose marks on that, you do. So an eight for Molly. Hi guys, my turn. You know I don't like doing this at all. I'm gonna start with my dessert. I'm gonna show you what I'm making. What the focus is it? I'm no good with this sort of thing. Okay, so it is Biscoff cheesecake. So let's get started. In a bowl, I've got some cream cheese, some Biscoff spread, which is yummy, and some vanilla essence. And I've got to whisk some cream until it thickens up. Honey, it's not working. So I'll get back to you on that one. Mix those ingredients together, that's fine. However, cream is not thickening, so bear with. Turns out I was being impatient. It worked. Quite pleased with that. So now I've got to fold it all in and mix it all together. I can't work this camera. I thought I'd buy some new little dishes because I didn't really have any of the right size. Guess what? I found the perfect ones, but they only flipping had three. So there you go. So I've got to layer that on top of that. And then we're going to melt some sauce to put on the top. This is it so far. Crushed biscuits, the cheesecake filling, and then the melted Biscoff spread poured in between the layers. Okay, so it's going in the fridge now, and then it's going to be finished off with some Biscoff ice cream. But obviously I can't do that yet. So, I'm back again. I'm going to start the main course now. I've gone for a very traditional vegetarian spaghetti bolognese. So, quite straightforward, I know, but it's probably what I would have cooked tonight anyway. So, let's have a look at what we've got. Veggie corn mince, chopped onions, because I hate chopping onions. Spaghetti, I wouldn't normally use spaghetti, to be fair. I normally use linguine, but they didn't have any. We've got some chopped tomatoes, we've got some tomato puree, we've got some garlic and some cooking oil. So let's crack on. This is going to win the pan and I'm going to add the sauces and the garlic. There's actually quite a lot there that seems to have made more than what I would normally make but hey hey we can save some. There we go. It's in the pan. I don't like doing this. I either make too much or not enough. I don't know how you're meant to gauge it but set the table. It's looking all pretty. Hello. You come for your tea. Oh, I'm doing it wrong. We've got a nice little cheese and tomato bread to finish off. That's just going in the oven now for five minutes and then we're good to go. I think we're all ready to dish up. I'm not going to film me dishing up because I'll get stressed. So, we're about done. It's not for you. Wow, mum's gone for atmosphere and wine and music. How are you feeling? I actually haven't seen Harry since we did this last night. He's been in his room the entire day because he was at work. Yeah, he hasn't even scored. He was, no, he hasn't even scored yesterday's meal yet. He was at work 4 a.m. until, when did he leave work? 10? Okay, so I'll give my full review afterwards. Oh, did you turn on the fairy light celebrity as well? So that was atmospheric. Wow, you've really thought about this. I think it might be an extra couple of points for the rosé. Absolutely. On a Tuesday. Well, it's not a school night. Here is the final dessert. I'm pretty pleased with that actually. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It's so time consuming and I just couldn't be bothered on the regular. They do look pretty good. 
This was another favourite of mine, um, Spaggy Bowl. I know in this particular case it was Quorn and not real mince. And the Quorn mince, not quite a big fan of that. It was, it was nice. The dessert was amazing though. Overall, very, very well done. What I did like, however, with the additional touches, red wine, rosé wine even, giving me a bit of a flushed face and also the music. So yeah, it was a, it was a good vibe and uh, well done. A solid. That was pretty delicious, I'm not gonna lie. In my head, I kind of thought dad might win this. I actually preferred my mum's and I'm gonna give her a nine. The only reason it's not a 10 is because people seem to insist on making cheesecakes for dessert and I don't mind a cheesecake, it's just not my favorite dessert. It makes me feel a little bit sick. Although she had gone to making the effort of picking Biscoff as the flavor and I love Biscoff. It is the way to my heart, I'm not gonna lie. Nine out of 10, the details were there. The alcohol was definitely creeping it up the ranking scale the music, the starter slash the side, the quality. For my mum's, which I just had, I'm actually gonna score a nine. A very nice spaghetti pudding was just as good. Uh, good quantity, I was full after that meal, unlike Molly's. Uh, it just loses a mark for, it wasn't perfect, so I can't give it a 10. Very, very strong from my mum. Hi, I'm here at my place of work. It has fallen to Wednesday already, I don't know how. I can't cook. I don't pretend to be able to cook. You saw in the last video, I was joking about, I was making packet pasta. Not gonna lie, I think I'm that bad. My dad's literally said, honestly, I'll give you a 10, just give me a Mackey's. I have been told it is cheating and I don't wanna be a cheat. We're gonna try and make burgers anyway. Nice little dirty fries on the side or some peri chips for veggie burgers, obviously, because Molly's veggie and I can't, I can't be cooking two different types of burger at once because that'll just, pfft. Staff discount, 15% off, so, so we love that. Coming out of my own pocket, this actually. I hope I get reimbursed. It came to 15 quid, well, but I've probably bought too much. But you know, you've got to make your customers happy. Here we go. We've got the bag, the chips, the drinks. Ooh, a little apple and raspberry action. Some nice sides there with some couscous and some coleslaw and the salad. And then we've got the burger buns and then a tiramisu. Now it's time to cook it, probably burn it, and kill the whole moon. Burgers are going in. Right, there we go. Fish chips time. I'm gonna get a towel for this one because the oven's whacked in hot. Oh, that's heavy. <gasps> no, there's a stray one, Mike, you'll have to die. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we've got all the sides potted up here. We've got the coleslaw for my mum, a nice little couscous here and a nice little rainbow salad. Um, so these are all the extras on the table. Now it's time to butter the bread buns, which I am awful at. They're all cut now, well, they should be. I gotta butter them. It's out. I'm probably out of this contest. Oh God, I don't know if that feels right. Well, I tried. So out on the table is four veggie burgers with peri fries, couscous, salad, coleslaw, some grated cheese, and some G2Os. Wow. I expect to be fully reimbursed. Hey, listen, show the plates, man. Cleared, uh, cleared, cleared. Hi! Get down. Cleared. Go on, what's the dessert? Or have you already told him? Mascarpone. This is not mascarpone. Tiramisu. Have you already explained it? Yeah. Have you shown it? Yeah, I showed me making it from scratch. From scratch, guys. I first talked about Harry's meal tonight and decided what he was going to do. I really honestly thought it was going to be one of these. I'm pleasantly surprised. It had nice peri fries with it, which I really love. And the dessert tiramisu was probably the best dessert we've had all week. I know he didn't make it, but it was the nicest we've had all week. Way better than mine. Um, so that's for you. <laughs> Harry's meal. I'm pleasantly surprised at him today. We all thought we was getting a Mackey's. It was a very nice meal and a nice pudding. Step up from the packet pasta last time, which was still very nice. But yeah, I'm impressed with that. So because of that, Harry gets nine. Yay! Oh, that I'm gonna give Harry is a, I'm gonna give him a seven. It was actually really nice. It was very tasty. I was very grateful that he had accommodated the vegetarianism. Um, that's where all the marks are coming from. I like the addition of couscous. That was actually really rogue. Again, I don't like tiramisu. I'm starting to think that I might be picky, but that's just a personal preference. And also I did eat it and it was nice, but like very sickly and I would never pick it myself. Similarly, the chips were kind of undercooked and quite cold. That is my final score of the final evening of this Come Dine With Me. We will do the reveal of the winner tomorrow and the next clip for you guys. 
In my head, I've memorised the scores. It is the next day, uh, hence why we aren't wearing the same clothes. Mum and I aren't actually dressed at all, really. No, I've just been cleaning. So, this is what you've all been waiting for, really. These guys do not know who's won. Yeah, well, I forgot about that. What did you think we were doing? I don't know, no, I don't know. Just, you told me to go to the Every room day we just get told to sit down and have a filming <laughs> session. Anyway. Sorry, that's not that funny. Who wants to be millionaire? No. Um, hang on, who wants What do you mean you've got the results in your head? I mean, I've memorised the How results. How badly biased. You, know, you could edit it's it. Yeah, we've all the submitted our scores. Now it's baloney. Are we ready? Yeah. Drum roll. Oh. Is there an actual proper order this time? Yeah. In fourth place, with 23 out of 30. Ooh, ooh that's quite, quite hard still. It's Dad. What? <laughs> fourth. Stinker, 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 fourth. stinker, stinker, stinker. <laughs> Is that because of my cow part? <laughs> oh, it might be, it might be, it might be because of the cow part. I think. In third place with 25 is Harry. I'll take that, not last. Ooh. 25 out of 30. Yeah, 25 out of 30, even though you literally bought it all, all in a packet. No, I did not. No, it was a step up from the last one. Uh, I okay. think, you know, and I scored you quite highly, I think, I think because, well. because of your improvement. Second place with 26 is me. Ooh, oh. which means that with 27 points, you're the winner. Three nines, was it? Yeah, three nines. Really? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it was a strong contender. They sure. all enjoyed it. She's supposed to go and the, so the winner. Oh, Alright, fine. Well, the winner is Mum. <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Last time there was a cash prize. This week there is not a cash prize <laughs> because, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> jokes. If you want to see a video where there is a genuine cash prize and Harry can vouch for this, we uploaded a Who Wants to Be a Millionaire family edition on Tuesday. Have I paid you? Eventually. So, yeah, if you haven't seen Tuesday's video, do go check it out. The honour of winning this time is you've won and I'm you know you're the best cook. So proud well, I hope I'm you're really... pleased with yourself, Mary. <laughs> it's Jane. It's Jane. What an ashtray. That's actually Janine. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go. I should be back on my channel on Saturday with a weekly vlog. So, I hope you have enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you have. Subscribe down below if you're new. And I shall see you on Saturday. Bye, guys. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Wow, Jane, what a sad little life. You voted everyone else down and voted yourself I didn't, actually. Life.